Hey you guys, and today for our vlog, um, one of the places I am going includes animals. to be a regular occurrence at this point but it's a different animal store than where I usually go so let's see what they have for us so this was their treat and toy section and the temptation treats for cats are my cat's absolute favorites he's had the chicken tuna and catnip ones so far scratching toys and brushes are a necessity can't forget about Jackson Galaxy He's got a wide range of toys that will keep your cat entertained for hours. For all of you cat moms and dads out there interested in looking for some new, exciting or exhilarating treats and toys for your kitties, check the links below and you'll be redirected to some of the things that my kitty Hercules loves. These items I use for my turtles and they'll be linked down below. So I have now left the animal store and now I'm at the park. By the way, this is a much different park than I've been to before. It's got a lot more in store. And I am now walking around the park. The bathroom's over here in that adorable building. And then they've got here sitting we've area. got the playground, also known as Fantasy Farm, which I think is really adorable. They've got chairs over there swings Felt friendly and literally guarantee i'm about to sit my little butt over there and it's been raining like no other and mother nature is definitely on her period got the Grin and Grow Fantastic Learning Garden for one touch and smell. Number two, Native Grass three, Rock Garden four, Evergreen Garden. No shade or anything. <laughs> no shade or anything, but I'm seeing a lot of different variations of green and brown. My dad. Five, Native Grasses again, followed by an adorable little caterpillar and well, the tree and shrub garden which of course is enjoyed by people and birds and lastly the soccer field i don't know if you can see it but all the way over there with the blue is the skate park there were people over there when i got here but as you can see they are now leaving okay so out of all the parks that i've been to i definitely have to say that this one would be the most family friendly because as you saw they had a huge playground with extensive toys and things of that nature interactive activities for children and then in terms of adults there's a huge soccer field there's a skate park plenty of trails and right here all of this red it wraps all the way around the field so it's like a walking area so as i mentioned Earlier, they have trails to walk on and this is one of the trails they have grills for if you want to do a picnic outside or barbecue and plenty of tables and whatnot idea of up close how it looks those bugs slash animal lovers like me look at this beauty I think it's huge and then let's see if we can find your family I just saw them where'd they go they disappeared oh y'all are really going up there okay going up on a Wednesday there you go you guys see those two babies? They are really trying to get up there. So, I saw a sign that says Scenic Overlook. It looks creepy and it looks pretty, because look at that. It looks pretty. And then we got this giant building.
Okay, so just because I want to point this out for my sanity. So the sign said to stay on the paved route, right? Which would be this thing right, right hither, okay? But look at that. That's a whole nother route. I want to walk that way. But according to the voice in the back of my head, I can't walk that way. So I'm gonna walk on the paved route, which is longer, might I add. watching and I'll see you next video.